Hey you guys, it's your girl Shanice the Mother Mini. I hope you guys can see me real good. I was gonna come in the video talking about all this stuff that happened to us, but I decided not to. But I'm gonna tell y'all this that we're living with family. Yeah. And so I had a doctor's appointment, but I didn't get to go. I am 26 weeks, you guys, in four days. So, I'm a, so anyway, hopefully y'all see me good. I'm pretty sure y'all can't there I go. But like I said, I'm 26 weeks. Turn that light off in there, our car. And we're staying with family. I am doing fine. My belly's getting bigger and bigger. See her, see her. Big mamas. All right, turn it down some more. Go close that door, Ria. And so we found a place, and I hate that. It's just, it's just too much drama. Like the place we was renting, the person was like out of nowhere. Huh? Go down there and see if he down there. RJ? Grandma is gone. You mean the bathroom? Go down there and look. Anyway, um, so I am tired. I'm super excited for our new journey. We're down here again in South Carolina, if you're wondering. If you're old, you'll know that's where we originally um, lived. Um, so hopefully we don't have to go back to North Carolina because we found a place, but we might have to go back. Hopefully we don't. We're hoping that it's not that type of situation, but we have to go back. So, but we um been searching, so we had to move. I'm like, we did not get kicked out. The person sold the house. My mom was like, a lot of people that's like on Section 8, they don't have those issues. I'm like, but we don't never, we never want to be on Section 8. Even when our income was like, we still didn't want to. And we found us a four bedroom, three baths, and they said, yes, it'll be ready in January. So, yeah, we got to stay here for like a couple more weeks, which is annoying because we're on an air mattress and I'm tired. And I'm pregnant. It's crap. And I just want to relax. They said they got to fix a lot of stuff. They're remodeling it, and it's going to be the same price. And I'm super excited for the price. But the only thing I don't think is a washing dryer. So you might have to go to a, um, a laundry mat, which is fine. I'm, I'm okay with it as long as we're getting shit done and taken care of like we need to. Because the only post is like one year. The post was full one year last time, but we got so sidetracked with our children. And this time we're not gonna get sidetracked. This time we're paying attention. This time we're gonna do everything we're supposed to do. And we're handling that shit and tackling that shit. My kids are homeschooled. I'm waiting for the other two to wake up so they can get started on their work. They didn't eat breakfast. My my son likes to cook, so he's 13, so he be cooking in his grandma's as well. Hey you guys, come on, I'm gonna turn this off. So be quiet. No screaming, beautiful. So I'm gonna stand up and let y'all see my belly and how our pregnancy is going. I had so much pain last night, I had to take the Tylenol. They said I only had like five and a half hours of sleep. I was so tired. And my baby, he keeps waking up. He did this at home, but like my husband was saying he did this before, but it seems like it's getting out of hand now. It's like, he stayed woke for like three or four hours just whining like on and off <sighs> but I don't like him doing that and I know it's because of his little eczema but he said his legs and stuff be hurt but I, I put the stuff on him and he still but I think it is because he don't fully eat all his food and he wakes up with hunger pains so but anyway Y'all will be going with us to look at this house <laughs> in about a couple of weeks. So I'm probably going to post it on this channel and on my family channel. 
the cool Coleman. Go subscribe. The subscribers are going up. Thank you. And thank you guys for getting me to 600. I'm so thankful. I have 601. I'm very thankful. I'm super excited. Um, more is coming. More is coming. Um, I was so annoyed because we had to move. We didn't find out we had to move until like that month. Like literally after we just paid. Uh, I was so annoyed. So now um, it was hard to find places. And then credit score was shot. All that bull. Now our credit scores are going up. And then shot up 80 points. And I, I already knew that. And I'm fine with it. And excuse me for burping. I'm pregnant. I'm about to stand up and show you my belly. So anyway, we're looking for good things to happen, change, positivity, working our ass off. I start school in January, got all my paperwork done like that. I'm done. So they already showed me my classes. I'm so excited. Go away. They already show me my classes. Come here, girl. You always think you gotta be in my stuff. They go require you. Y'all remember my little baby. Now bye. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I started school in January, so I'm excited, and I can't wait. Mhm. Mm Hold on. Okay. It's gonna help better us. It's gonna help better my future. Y'all know I already did my training that I became pregnant. So I can't be I didn't want to be a trainer. So like I wouldn't get no clients because I wasn't doing like I wouldn't have been working in the facility. Um you know, before pregnancy and I feel like nobody would like take you seriously. So now I'm going to still do that as well. I'm probably going to probably try to like offer classes like over like computer or whatever, something like that. Come up with my own stuff. I'm not sure yet. Don't hold me to it, but when I do do it, you will know. Um, What else I can tell you? Anyway, my husband is doing a lot to hold us down. Um, and thankful for the people that say yes to us and i'm thankful for the ones that said no it's fine i'm not i would never get mad at anyone for telling me no come out of there now i would never get mad at anyone for telling me no i've never been like that ever except probably when i was a child get them out of there for me tell them come on so probably when i was a little kid or something probably in middle school but when i got to high school just how we know that didn't bother me as an adult. I mean, going into adulthood, telling me no doesn't bother me. <laughs> so, um, and one of the things I've learned is that <clears throat> this is when I was in high school. Don't open your mouth. Don't talk about people. If you don't know what's going on, don't talk about their story. Don't talk about anything you don't know what's going on. Don't just assume and don't and don't be the type of person to think that you're not going to get an action or a reaction from that person when you do something to them. You have to understand is that you say certain things about their they mom. I mean, not their mom. You say some things about their wife, their husband, their motherly things. You're going to get cussed out. Like, you just have to understand that. Like, no one's going to listen to you. And then on top of that, you can't be thinking that you can give everyone advice. I don't give advice unless I am asked. I have a lot of friends from school and they be in my inbox and they ask me. They ask me and then on YouTube, people comment to me, they ask. I'm not giving advice unless it's something I'm already teaching on. You know what I mean? Better let me have another day. Don't wake up, wake up. Keep it steady cause I'm happy. I'm not gonna wake up. No, no.
like I said, I don't give advice unless like someone asks. I don't care. I'm not rude or anything, but I don't care about your business. I don't care about your marriage. I don't care about none of that. So I had somebody dibbing and dabbing, and they both been family and was saying something. I ain't talked to you over four years because you was dibbing and dabbing then. They had a nerve to say I was trying to punch them, but they forgot they punched me when I was actually pregnant. So, I feel like, look at that. Ooh, I ain't gonna get a little bump. I feel like, don't start now with people and expect not to have any reaction. Is you're always gonna get a reaction. It don't always have to be good. Like, no one's going to shut up and listen to you. And you can't give advice. Your past is very rusty. And the things that you say are not facts. And I'm not a liar. I've never been a liar. I remember when I was a little kid and I was like, dang, I know I'm supposed to keep some secrets. I had a friend and they were trying to fight this girl. And because I am, um, get out of there now. I am a person that tells the truth. I'm not thinking at like five and six years old not to tell these people that, yeah, she was trying to fight them, like, because I believe in telling the truth. So, I mean, I have so many stories. Like, I ain't never lied. I ain't got nothing to lie about. I'm going to tell the truth. So, I was trying to fight. I was trying to fight. If I wasn't, I wasn't. If I was, I was. Period. But I always expect a reaction. Because you don't talk about nobody's kids. And you don't talk about nobody's wife. And you damn sure don't talk about nobody's husband. If I'm not talking about your family, why are you talking about my family? You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about your kids. Sean, be quiet. If I'm not talking about your kids, don't talk about mine. Kids off limits. Husbands off limits. Kids, husbands, wives, all that is off limits. I'm talking about nobody. I don't care to. Yes, I know your business, but I don't care to talk about you. I don't bash you, but I know <clears throat> you bashing little old Shanice with eight kids and a husband. Yeah. One thing I can tell you, all my kids, he is. And he ain't got a question, and he sure ain't got no outside babies. Anyway, back to this pregnancy. Just had to get that rent out because something happened to me, and... I believe in talking about it and getting it out. And um, they was trying to make me like the big, big bad wolf or whatever. And when I brought that back up, when I brought it up, it was like, dude, you could have been in jail for 10 years. Until I was like, you know what, let me think on this on my own. I had to go to the emergency room. I started throwing up and stuff when he punched me and I was pregnant. Like I was saying though, but I could have put him in jail for 10 years. But anyway, I'm done talking about that. I didn't let it go. I was never angry. I slept good. My heart rate was at 74 in my sleep. Only thing I'm worried about is my kids and my husband and I don't having a place to stay. That's the only thing I care about. And I'm putting that worry in God's hands because when God said I am, he, like I said, when God said I am, that's it, period. He's going to handle it, and he's going to take care of it. And everything that you want and need is coming. Like, we've never, ever been lacking of income except for, like, the first few years of a marriage. But that's normal because we're young, and everybody are not financially stable in the beginning. So now that our income is amazing, we had a little tiny little setback, and then that's all. But soon and very soon, we'll be in our other house. And soon and very soon after that, we'll be on our land with a better house. Okay. Talk to y'all later. Have a blessed day. Love you guys.